Well, those communities in the path of Helene struggled to comprehend all the damage left behind by that devastating storm. Lawmakers in Washington are calling for action to help FEMA bring more relief. Yeah, this as other storms are brewing in the tropics. Lee Waldman is in New York with more. This disaster in western North Carolina is catastrophic. Nearly a week after Hurricane Helene came ashore, cutting a path of destruction across six states, President Joe Biden toured the wreckage Wednesday alongside North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper. I approve the request of Governor Cooper for the federal government to cover 100 percent, 100 percent of all the costs for debris removal. This after Biden suggested he would be open to calling Congress back from its recess for a special session to pass a supplemental relief bill. Last week, Biden signed a three-month stopgap government funding bill in which Congress did appropriate $20 billion to FEMA, but some fear that will not be enough. Well, all federal spending is about priorities and look at the, the swath and the, the breadth of the damage across so many states. But it'll take a while. It'll take 30 days or more for them to uh, assess that. Uh, but Congress will have to address it. As we look at the infrastructure damages to water, to the cell lines, to power, the ability to get those turned back on is going to be complicated just by the way uh, Appalachia is configured. Already more than 3,500 federal personnel are helping in the recovery efforts. FEMA also delivered a cargo plane full of food, water and emergency supplies to Asheville, North Carolina Tuesday. We know that this is going to be a sustained operation. In New York, I'm Lee Waldman reporting.